Let's go through another example of entering data on the Android device. In this example, we will demonstrate the use of entering data on the Android device without an internet connection. You can enter data on the Android device and it will save the data locally until your internet connection is restored. It will then upload the data to the server. We will follow the same procedure as previously. We will select the same organization unit, dataset, and period that has been selected in the web application. You can see that there are no data values within the web application for the parameters that we have selected. So we will start by choosing our organization unit, our dataset, and our period. We'll then tap where it says syndromic surveillance to continue the data entry. What we are going to do now is turn off the Wi-Fi connection. We'll just tap on the wireless connection on the Android device. This will turn the internet connection off on the phone, just to simulate a loss of connectivity. We can now proceed to enter our data. After we've entered our data, we'll tap on Save. Notice in this case, there is no notification that indicates the data has been sent to DHIS2. Because we don't have the internet connection, the data will be stored locally on the Android device until the connection is restored. One thing to be very mindful of when we're doing this type of data entry offline on the Android device is not to log out of the device. If I go to the menu, you can see that I can log out. This will lose the data that is stored on that device. And now I won't be able to log back in This is because I do not have an internet connection. I cannot log back in until my internet connection has been restored. If I select the parameters that I selected earlier, we can see that there is actually no data available, even though I had entered data previously. This is because I logged out of the application and all those values that were stored on the device were lost. We need to make sure that if we're doing offline data entry, we do not log out of the application. So let's just turn off the wireless connection. and demonstrate the proper procedure in handling this data. After we have specified our parameters, we can go ahead and continue the data entry process and enter our data values. If we click on Save, it will save the values locally to the Android device as long as we do not log out of the application. Note that we can still use other apps on our Android device. Switching apps does not mean we have logged out of the DHIS2 application. We can still switch our apps and use the Android device as needed for other purposes. Just make sure you do not log out of the app. You can see that when we're offline, we can choose different periods, and different organization units and continue to enter our data. We can still save this data to our Android device. So we can continue our data entry offline on the Android device 
until our connection is restored. When the connection is restored, it will then upload this data to DHIS2. Let's restore the wireless connection. After I restore the connection, we can see that there are notifications indicating that the import process has been completed successfully. This is true for all the data that I entered on the Android device, both for Mays District Hospital as well as EM Health Center. We can go ahead and verify this through the web application. Like before, we'll just reload the web application. We'll select our dataset combination along with the period. You can see here that those values have now been uploaded to DHIS2. We also went through another example where we selected the organization unit, dataset, and period while completely offline on the Android device. That was for the YAM Health Center organization unit, the syndromic surveillance dataset, and week 43 of 2016. You can see that these values have also been uploaded successfully to DHIS2. We can see the username at the bottom, just like before. And we can note that this dataset has been marked as completed.